Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition. We're on episode 12 now. Let's hop right in. Oops, let's not do a new game. That would be ridiculous. Okay, so it's been a few days since I recorded. Let's see, last time I think I was looking for a boat. Um, yeah, let's head into Termina and see what we can find. First thing that comes to mind is to go talk to Korcha. Oh, I'm having a little bit of lag here tonight. I hope it's just uh, my computer and that this doesn't turn into an issue. Or my computer catching up with a couple things. So before I talk to Korch, uh, I overshot the NPC I was thinking of. Had the sales NPCs mixed up. Let's see what this guy has to say. Looks like this marketing thing is important, just like my brother said. After lowering the price you suggested, they started selling like crazy. If you don't mind leftovers, please have some for yourself. You've taken a Viper Churro. Not bad, and it even revitalizes you. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess that's just a free restorative now. That's cool. <sighs> I overslept and this corner is the only place open. To make things worse, the shrines are just part are just past this point. They're called shrines, but they're really just a bunch of graves. I feel a bit uneasy. It's rumored that a possessed giant and a girl live in the shack near the shrines. Wow, Big Bro's got a great place to open a shop. That spot's ideal for roadside merchants like us. Oops, no time to lose. I gotta hurry and set up myself. But please come back a little later. Yeah. Uh, the giant in the shack is in my party now. See, I don't think there's anything else to do over here. Just double checking. Yeah, because Glenn has already gone ahead of us, and Riddell wouldn't be here on her own, so... There's nothing to do there. Let's head on over to... You know what? I could go up to Van and Go's house, but I don't really even want Van as a party member, so if I'm missing out on him, I frankly don't care. Uh, he's not a very good party member, to be honest. Doesn't have a lot of strong points uh, for battle, so I'll pick him up on a subsequent playthrough. Once I finish this Let's Play, I'll be um, doing some more of this just on my own. I'm not going to make another series of the same game. But uh, yeah, I do plan to go for the PSN Platinum Trophy on this uh, after the Let's Play. You guys need to cross the sea? Then I might, just might, think about lending you my boat. On two conditions. Huh, with that clunky boat of yours, I don't think we're going to survive a round trip. But I guess this ain't the time to be picky. So, Korcha, what are your conditions? First, if you ever find the dragon tier, give it to me. The other condition is, once all this ruckus is over, um, I want you to... <laughs> what was that? Stop mumbling and speak up. I can't hear you. I, uh... Ah, I want Cha to be my wife. Huh? What it, did you just say? I said I want Cha to be my wife. Wow, that I, I used the um, wrong accent for Korcha. <laughs> I guess he was just caught up in the moment, like me. Huh? Oi, Korcha! Don't mess with me. I'm gonna kick your butt so hard you'll kiss the moons. I'm not joking. To tell you the truth, I, um, that is, it was love at first sight. Mmm. Oi, you don't know who, er, let me try that one again. Oi, you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, you're some kind of thief, ain't cha? Don't cha worry. I don't care about your past, and I don't want cha to feel forced. We can wait until all this fuss is over. So, please. 
Just tell him that you will. Sir, this is none of your business. It's me own problem. Yeah, I'm gonna be real here. I totally deserve that. But if we refuse, there's no way I can get a boat from him. Okay, understood. But this ain't something I can agree to on a whim. I'll consider it. But not until I settle the score with Lynx. It's about the best I can promise. I can't guarantee you anything more. Alright, that's all I need for now. Okay, I'll lend you the boat. What was that Glenn guy saying earlier? Something about going to see an old man on a small island to the east. Hey, you be careful with yourself from now on. Just remember that your life is not just your own anymore. You're carrying my wife to be. <laughs> Goosebumps. Do you want me to come with you? Yeah, why not? Join the party. Korcha, join Cha party. All right. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this same party for now. Okay, then I'll be heading home now. Remember that I'm just lending you my boat. Don't you dare sink it. Take care. Wait, is he really gonna just swim home? What a guy. What a Chad. Alright, let's go. Sheesh, I still can't believe that Korcha swims home. That's a long ways. Even if he just swims to this island and then walks over the mountains, he's still walking over mountains. Ah, <sighs> okay. So now we've got free roam out here on the world map. we got lots of cool places we can go. I'm not going to go to any of them. But just have a quick look around. This looks so much better in the remastered version. Oh, shoot. I don't want to go into the fog. Can I go? Yeah, around and through. All right. Uh... Hermit's Hideaway. This is where we'll need to go. But I just want to look around a smidge more. Let's see everything that's up north here, too. Man, I remember when this just looked like mud from the PS1 version. It looks kind of like a watercolor painting now. That's great. Okay, enough rubbernecking. Let's, uh, let's get on with it. Burned out, Hermit's Hideout. Oh, well, there was someone here. What happened here? Did Lynx do this? Is it correct? Hmm, maybe not. The correct answer is, I did this under Monsieur Lynx's orders. Salut, Serge. Did you miss moi? Not you again. Excusez-moi, Serge, but do you want to know why I burned this place to the ground? Tell me. Well, first of all, to teach you all a lesson. And second of all, to get rid of that geezer who lives here. He is an ally of the Acacia Dragoons, and I hear he's quite skilled. I was disappointed to see that the geezer isn't here. I wonder where he went. And one more thing, Serge. Monsieur Lynx gave moi another order. That is to slow down your pursuit. Here I go. Okay, we're gonna rumble with Harl. And fin, take all the time you wish. Hmm. Okay, she's gotten a native black. It's good news for Surge. Oh shoot, did I remember to allocate elements and stuff to kid? I don't think I did so. Oops. K. 
kid uh, might not be doing much this battle. Oh boy. Well, let's see if I can steal anything from Harl. Hmm, yes I can. A photon beam element. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's start throwing some white elements at her. 70. I'm gonna save that dash and slash. See if I can get a full field effect here. Oh, she's gonna help me with it. How cute. Ah, thank you for hitting Surge. Alright, Lena, you've got another white, right? Yeah, Photon Ray. And Dash and Slash. Adieu, moi is defeated. Yes, I read that line incorrectly. Uh, I've heard that the phrase that she says is uh, a vulgarity in French. I don't know, so just in case I changed it to adieu, which is French for goodbye. And we'll heal up. And we got another photon beam. All right. Ooh la la, you really are strong. Tre fort, Serge. Please, Serge, turn back now. She is nothing but bad luck. She will bring nothing but misfortune to your life. Are you one of Lynx's minions? Actually, I see that you are not. It must have been that munchkin that just flew away. Miss Riddell had informed me that Lynx and the General were heading to Fort Trigonia. I played it safe and went into hiding for a while, and it looks like Lynx did pay me a visit. I'm sure the General has no idea what happened here. Lynx is the one behind all this. I had a feeling something like this might happen. That is why I made sure to build a sturdy stronghold underground. I believe it should still be intact. Are you here to ask me questions? Come, there's no need to be shy. Okay, then we won't be shy. If he says there's no need, then there's no need. I see. So you have met Miss Riddell and Glenn. Yeah, we have. Yes, I once wielded a sword as a proud member of the Acacia Dragoons. Glenn's father, Garai, and the blacksmith Zappa, and I, used to tear up the battlefield. But that was a good 15 years ago. When Garai lost his life on the central continent, I vowed to become his son's guardian. I officially retired four years ago after Dario received his father's sword, the Einlanzer. I've been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world. However, Dario is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable. It was then that Lynx approached General Viper. He spoke of the legendary treasure, the Frozen Flame, which is able to heal all illnesses and fulfill any dreams. I do not know what this man Lynx is plotting, but I believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of Pore with the power of this legendary jewel. Pore is a nation governed by militarism, 
It has brought suffering to many people on the central continent of Zenon. Perhaps the general envisions a bright and peaceful world, much like Gardia was at one time. Or is he planning to find the answer as to why we have continued to hurt and kill each other since, since antiquity? This guy's voice is not easy. The voice that I picked for him anyway. In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself in any conflicts. Besides, there is no way I would want to face General Viper in battle. Young one, should you plan to engage in battle with Lynx, beware. He is a fearsome man. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. There are many cursed spirits wandering the seas around here. Rumor has it that they attack ships and suck the souls out of humans. I've heard rumors about this accursed ghost ship. What? A ghost ship? Heh, <laughs> you trying to scare me? Don't make me laugh. Do not take the sea lightly, young lady. Mankind knows only the land and the surface of the sea. No man can truly know what hides beneath the waves. Well, we're working on that, but he's still absolutely right. Modern science has revealed a startling amount, but there's still more to be discovered, even now in 2022. Mind you, this game was made like 23 years ago, so we've had a lot of advances since the script was written. Not to mention it's set in a completely different setting than a modern uh, setting would have. In terms of scientific discoveries and whatnot, sorry, I got sidetracked there. I was just trying to figure out what the heck that is by the beds, but I guess it's not important. I can't interact with it anyway. Take care of yourself. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll see you later, Radius. Around here is hot. Vegetation won't be able to grow here. Yeah, I wasn't even tapping X. It just decided to tell me that. Interesting. Interesting. Now here's the thing. If I go back to the other or to the main world, I don't have a boat, so I wouldn't be able to come here to Hermit's Hideaway. But, in the first world, I do believe that Radius is in the village. So, I'm going to give that a go real quick and see what happens. There we go. Okay, dear viewers, brace yourselves for some crunchy late 90s CG. Man, I wish they had just redone all of these CG cutscenes. Like, yeah, they're remastered, but at baseline, they still look like booty <laughs> by today's standards. You know, in 99, 2000, when this came out, they looked fantastic. But we've, we've moved beyond that point. Okay, let's try talking to Radius. See what he has to say. Now that I've talked to his other self... Oh, Serge, how goes it? Would you like to join everyone for my lecture? Today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and the art of elements. Sure. Excellent. True man you are. Well then, let's get on with it. You are way too advanced for my lecture. Keep up the good work, Sonny. Uh, 
that wasn't what I expected. How odd. Okay, they're all still waiting to use a save point. Huh. Time sure does fly. Chief Radius has been living here for four years already. He's such a bright, cheerful man. Everyone in the village really likes him. I wish he could stay here forever. Hmm. Okay. Well, this seems to be something of a dead end. I see Poshal toddling around back there, but I've already got her in my party. What happens if I go talk to Lena with this other world's Lena? Hey, that girl looks like me? Haha, <laughs> surprised? Well, there's something real deep behind all this. You should have Serge explain it to you. When it's all over, of course. Huh? <laughs> that was, um, less interesting than I had hoped. But it's fine. What do you have to say? Yo, Sergi! You totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. Oh, she's just saying the same thing as she said earlier in the game. Yeah, right, whatever. This seems to be a non-starter. I might need to head back to another world and just poke around a little. Uh, we've already been to Hydra Marshes. I don't think there's anything out on the point. I don't have a boat, to my knowledge. I have Nikki. Oh, it wants me to explore Fossil Valley again. Can I just, like, not talk? The Pore Army is currently investigating this area. It is off limits to the general public. We will inform you when our investigation is complete. Okay, so I just straight up can't go through here right now. Beat it, kid. There's nothing to see here. Huh. Okay. Well, bummer. Have I looked at Cape Howell? I want to know what's up here. Uh, ooh, let's turn off... How do I do that again? No, not triple speed. Yeah, no encounters. There we go. Oh! Oh! I have not been this way in this world. Okay, well. Let's uh, grab the goodies. Hello. You don't look very interesting. I really don't see any point to fighting those guys. What does it say in this world? Surge and Lena forever. Mm hmm. Cute. We put graffiti on there. All right. Well, we've got a couple of elements at least, so that's not nothing, but it's not very much. Suppose there's nothing else to do here. Let's head on back. If I recall correctly, in my first Let's Play, the one that was on PS1, the one that I cancelled because this came out, I got stuck at this point in the game as well. I wasn't sure where to go next. So I will explore around a little bit see what I find, but I may end up having to uh, just uh, look up a little bit of information between episodes to get myself pointed in the right direction. 
Not that I want to have explicit instructions or spoilers or anything. I just want to know where can I go next to advance the plot. So if I don't find it by the end of this episode, rest assured, next episode will not be mindless wandering. But I will, in fact, find uh, something to make this entertaining. Well, that doesn't sound good. I don't think we're going to go that way just yet. Can't go that way just yet. Marbule, I don't have any beastmen with me, so I'm not going to go there. Water Dragon Isle, nah. I could go to Arnie Village. I might need to do the ghost ship next. I wonder if that's what I'm supposed to... Oh yeah, I think so. I've already been to the bluffs at Viper Manor. I don't want to mess around there right now. I'm trying to get to Fort Dragonia. I think the only way in is through this foggy area. So let's uh, let's be bold and or stupid. Head into the fog and see what we find. This must be the ghost ship. Th this seems like a terrible place to bring our skiff. Why are we doing this? Could this be the ghost ship? It could be, and it is. Well, what are we waiting for? You're right. We won't be able to navigate in this fog. Yeah, let's board the ghost ship and I think this is where we meet Captain Fargo and his pirates Oi! Is this thing really a ghost ship? Nope, it's a pirate ship There's a ton of them Who are ya? <clears throat> Excuse me Make way for Captain Fargo Arr, you seem to be a bit young for one of Lynx's subordinates. Well, who cares? What do you want from us? Well, that's up to you. But first things first. What is your intention? Huh? Don't play stupid. We know you're trying to get to Mount Pyre. We saw General Vapers and Lynx's ship anchored nearby. Are you trying to deliver them a message? Is that it? That's a load of bull. We don't work for them. We're out to get them. Get in our way and I'll kick your butt so hard you'll kiss the moons. Huh? Are you serious? Explain yourselves. I say... So that explains why you're after Lynx. But, don't you know you're risking your lives? Don't you recognize the danger associated with Lynx? He's a monster, a cold-blooded monster, an incarnation of death. To be frank with you, we've had our share of encounters with Lynx too. But that was a long time ago. Ever since then, we've had to disguise ourselves as this ghost ship. So you're gonna face Lynx, eh? That's easy to say, but... Cut the crap and get to the point. Arr, bring out our you-know-what. Aye, aye, Captain Fargo. I just want to see if you youngsters can match up to the likes of Lynx. Just making sure you're not all talk. Looks like they're ready. Let's see what you can do.
Okay. And I still didn't allocate elements on Kid because I'm an idiot. <sighs> I guess it's not going to matter. These things are going down quick. Oh, actually, if I go over to Lena... I can use Kid just to restore everybody else's stamina and start winging around some elements. Okay, now I can go to... Actually, how about Surge? The one that I haven't damaged yet can have a meteorite. It's supposed to drop on a foe's head. He doesn't have a head. I'll just drop it on his body. That's fine. Okay, Lena's got stamina back, so now we can... Meteorite on... how about this one? Probably should be focusing fire and just finishing off one. Overkill or no. Overkill doesn't matter in this game. But it's fine, because this should do it. A little bit of HP for everyone. That's always nice. Ooh, some capsules. Just loosening you up. Time to get serious. Polly! Uh oh. Hello. Well, this should be interesting. Got an innate of red on this one. Hey, 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 that's a lot of damage. Oof. Lena, carry yourself. Don't point at Surge. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a little better. You also heal Lena, because that was a crazy hit. And then Kid can restore some stamina for us. And Surge can restore some stamina for Lena. Goodness, this thing is evasive. Alright, Lena's at full stamina. Let's use one of these ice lances and get some damage flowing. Nice. Now, I'm not using elements at the moment because I've got the blue field effect. And I'd really like to swing back around to Lena if I can. Use that other Ice Lance. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do it. Chew on that. 108. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Lena again. Oh man, come on. I guess it makes sense. She is the biggest threat to this enemy. The 
time for field effect is over. Now it's just going to be a damage bonanza. Let's pilfer, see if I can nab anything. Nope. Oh well. That's okay. Not too bothered. All right, he's uh, staggered. We're getting close to the end of his hit points. Surge, you can't be missing like that, bro. It's not good. Hmm, what do we have here? I'll take the innate match, the Surge. Innate white, white element. Yeah, hit someone with full HP. There we go. That's good. Spread that damage around. Lena has... Maiden's Hand doesn't do very much damage, we discovered. I do have an Aqua Beam in my back pocket. Hey, that Aqua Beam was exactly what I needed. Brilliant. Huh, I thought I would uh, get a growth level off of that. That's alright. Not bad, mighties. We'll meet again. Is what he said. Arr, stronger than I expected. You got me blood boiling. I'm next. Oof. Did I at least get to heal in between? I did. You heal at the end of every battle. Jolly ho! Up and at him! I need a blue. Let's pop over to Lena. Build up some element levels. Pop over to Kid. Build up some element levels. That's the only element level I care about. He's using a red element. Interesting. Well, I'm also going to use a red element. Let's see if I can steal anything. Yeah, what did I get? A capsule. Not too exciting, but hey, I'll take it. Alright, let's lob out some damage here. Unfortunately, I don't have all that much in the way of damaging red spells at the moment. Red elements, whatever. Hmm. Well, I'm running a little low on stamina at the moment, aren't I? Okay, let's start building up white and see if we can do something with Surge. Okay, so he's going to use physical attacks. Sweet, that lets me continue to use elements. As usual, just building up my element levels first. And since I was an absolute moron and forgot to put stuff on Kid, we can use up her stamina to restore surges, or at least most of surges. Okay, now he's gonna break my field effect that I was building up. Bummer. Oh well. Don't want to use Ice Lance on him because 
That's his innate. I don't think it would heal him, but it wouldn't do as much damage as some of my other elements would. Okay, I've got him on the ropes. Use Kid to build up a little bit of stamina on everyone else. Uh, let's have Lena. Oh. This is a tough choice now. Actually, I think I'll go back over to Surge and use this Photon Ray. Now we just need Fargo to not break my field effect. I've also got to swing back around to Surge. Oh, well, never mind. I was hoping to use that other meteorite on Surge, but, uh... Oof. That was a pretty good hit. Uh, anyway, I was hoping to use that other meteorite on Surge with the field effect. But as it stands... I don't need to use it at all. Now that's smart. Okay. We finished off Fargo. Still not a growth level. Found some stuff, used some heals. You know how it is. Not bad. But keep in mind, we be pirates. Huh? Serge! The tranquilizer made from jellyfish stingers. You lubbers will be asleep for a while. Well, that's that. Arr, stick these land lubbers in the hold. Well, this seems like a good spot to end. Are you alright, Serge? You don't look so well. Be on your guard. There's something going on outside. Ugh, standing to watch ain't easy. What's up with the fog today? Can't even see the water out there. <sighs> yeah. I ain't scared. Oh no, there's the ghost ship. I think we'll be fighting some of those. Ah! <laughs> Good parody scream. Ah, uh, something's up. Oh. Hello. Ooh, these things look even more ghastly in HD. I love it. Well, that went down quick. Something tells me these guys have a black innate. Yep. Nice. Hey buddy, what you got? Any goodies I can steal? Well, I failed that time. Oh, he's using a trap element, huh? I hope it's not meteor, because that's what I'm going to use. Meteorite. Oh, 
And there he goes. Nothing too exciting at the end of that battle. What are these monsters doing here? What's going on? What's going on is we are going to finish up. Uh, I promise I'm going to set, uh, what do you call it? Um, allocate elements to Kid and get her up to speed in between episodes. But for now, we're just going to save and round it off here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much, hit the dislike button. Let me know what I can do better next time. Leave me a comment. Uh, tell me how I can improve. Um, if you like this kind of content and want to see some more, please consider subscribing. I post episodes of Let's Play Chrono Cross every Monday and Wednesday, and a variety of games on Fridays. Right now I'm working on Dragon Quest Builders 2, and the voice of cards, the Isle Dragon Roars, kind of going back and forth between those two. So if that sounds good, like I say, consider subscribing, and uh, you'll get notifications if you ring the little bell uh, when I post a new video. But it's pretty consistent Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Other than that, once again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.